I grew up in Cuba under a strong military oppressive dictatorship. So as a teenager, I found myself involved in a revolution. I remember during that time, a young charismatic leader rose up talking about hope and change. His name was Fidel Castro. And, uh, you know, we all followed him. We thought he was going to be our liberator. As a result of being involved in the revolution, I was imprisoned, I was tortured, but by the grace of God, I was able to leave Cuba on a student visa and came to the greatest country on the face of the earth. I think the most ominous words I've ever heard was in the last two State of the Union addresses, when our president said, if Congress does not act, I will act unilaterally. Not much different than that or bearded friend that I left behind in Cuba, governing by decree, by executive order, just like a dictator like Fidel Castro. I feel that without a shadow of a doubt, outside of the Bible, the greatest two documents that have ever been penned are the Constitution of the United States and the Declaration of Independence. And the reason those two documents have lasted for 230 years is because they were written on the knees of the framers. Men of God seeking wisdom for, from above. And those truths are as relevant today as they were 230 years ago. And you know, when we see the intrusion upon our liberties, when we see whether it is looking at our emails or listening to our telephone calls, or when we see the IRS targeting Tea Party groups, freedom-loving groups, because it, for their political ideology, I see, I say, we can remain silent no more! Silent no more!